Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being with us once again. We are very pleased to be back from a short recess, very motivated and excited to provide you with another set of webinars for the first quarter of 2021. I start by congratulating the newly elected EXCO of the Malta Photographic Society, spearheaded by the new president, Stephen Buhajar, assisted by veteran member, vice president and courses director, Joe Attar, Leonard Cox, John Celia, Johan De Bono, Josef Mifsud, and Jane Farruja, a team composed of experienced members, along with new blood, which will surely drive the society to the next level, making it best in class as photographic and educational community by attracting new talent and reaffirming its existence, especially this year marking its 60th anniversary. I thank the EXCO for trusting me once again to host these webinars together with Stephen Buhajan. And our objective will be to provide you with interesting material of photographic value, as well as a means of socializing in a safe way until it is safe to meet up physically at the club. Some short notices I will give you as usual um, in my introduction. Um, there is going to be the, 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 the fashion photo shoots by Nella's photography will be resuming in January. A promo has been circulated in the Malta Photography Webinars Group, and I will share it again in the, short, in the chat shortly. These shoots cost just 10 euros, and you will get the opportunity to work along with various models. I want also to remind everyone that these shoots are being organized um, uh, taking into consideration all COVID-19 measures, wearing masks, social distancing, so that's being taken care of. If anyone is interested to upgrade his photographic gear, you may want to take a look at Sam Shikluna's post, who has equipment for sale at very good prices. A couple of thanks. Uh, I want to thank, as I usually do, I thank Stephen Bohajar for his tremendous support working together it gives me to put um, these webinars, to put up these webinars. Yosef Mifsud, our technical guru, for streaming our webinars live on the MPS Facebook page. The MPS Exco for their ongoing support. I also want to thank the Facebook groups for supporting us by promoting our webinars on their pages, namely, in by surname order, Tony Azzopardi from Photography Abain El Bip. Johan De Bono from All Photography and Alexander Kutayar from Photography Shots. I will now hand over um, to Stephen, the president, to share with us some news regarding the MPS. Stephen, I'm going to open your mic. Um, okay, you can. Okay, Stephen, you can talk. Thanks, Viz. Um, first of all, thanks for your detailed <coughs> and uh, adorned introduction. On behalf of the Executive Committee, I would like to thank you uh, once again for collaborating with the Malta Photographic Society for hosting uh, these uh, weekly webinars. <coughs> your commitment and contribution, Viz, are, are much appreciated. I want to start my speech today by acknowledging the works and achievements made by our previous president, Mr. Louis Ajus, who for these past 12 years as president left an indelible mark on our esteemed society. Louis, thank you. And as your predecessor, I want to ensure to continue giving the society that quality assurance that our members rightly expect. I also wish to thank Mr. Francis Darmanin and Mr. Mark Shikluna, who announced to sit on this year's executive committee, but offered their services and help whenever demanded. It is indeed an honor and privilege to become the 12th president of our beloved society, which this year will be celebrating its 60th anniversary. The outstanding attributes over the past years has been the enthusiasm and dedication of members who have freely given of their time, energy, and financial aid to support the activities organized by the Malta Photographic Society. To be serving the Malta Photographic Society is a challenge and carries various responsibilities. But with the other six members who have been approved to sit on this year's executive committee, we shall strive to meet our objectives for the benefit of the photographic sector in Malta. 
Following last week's AGM, which for the first time had to be held online, but was a compelling exercise, which was acclaimed by those present, the seven members sitting on the executive committee met for the first time and discussed the new roles last Monday. I am pleased to announce that Mr. Joe Attart will keep his position as vice president of the society with Mr. Leonard Cox and Mr. John Chilia taking over the roles of honorary secretary and honorary treasurer respectively. Mr. Joseph Mifsud will be taking care of the society's competition, competitions <coughs> and act as IT manager. Mr. Johan De Bono will be the new premises manager and Mrs. Jane Farouja will be coordinating the courses organized by the Malta Photographic Society. My intended prime mission during my presidency is to make the society more visible because it de deserves to be regarded as a higher esteem by the local arts circles. Work harder to cater for a wider audience, further provide educational support and assistance, and attract new faces and give a breath of fresh air to the society. If you want us to continue being of service, your support is much needed. It is that time of the year where we show our gratitude to the society. It is very little thing that we all can do to make sure that this magnificent machine keeps on functioning well. The renewal of our membership helps us to keep organizing events and activities related to photography. Finally, let me say that I, own, I am open to suggestions from all and will try to meet the requests within the capabilities that I have. Your interest in the society fills me with the enthusiasm to keep serving our beloved society with its, with its myriad of abilities through what we are good at, photography. Thank you, Vince. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stephen, um, uh, for that um, uh, introduction. Um, now, what we're going to do is today, as you know, our webinar today will take the form of a photo mentoring discussion. So uh, we've already asked those that were present a bit before to prepare a photo. We will be asking you to share this photo. Um, um, we will lead the discussion with the aid of experienced and veteran members of the society, as well as inviting everyone. It is very important. This is an informal exercise. It is an exercise that we learn from each other. And uh, through this exercise, we're going to highlight areas of praise while offering also constructive criticism in suggesting ways of how one could improve his uh, photographic skills. Obviously, we can take, you know, um, uh, suggestions of how uh, we can do our photography in a different way. So, um, uh, who's going to start sharing his photo? Anyone? Any volunteer? Or shall we? Uh, Louis? Okay, Lewis, I think there's Lewis. Lewis, I'm going to open your mic. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to open Joe Attard's mic, Alex. Okay, Louis. Can I share screen? Yes, yeah, please. Yes, please. Louis. Please. Um, we'll talk in Maltese or how to ask? Ideally in English because we're being streamed live, Louis. All right, no problem. Yeah, here goes. Hope it works. First of all, I think the hair is a bit too close. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Joseph. I have to get close to the screen. <laughs> um, no. um, are you seeing my photo? Yes, yes. Louis. Yes. Uh, yes. That, that's it. Uh, it, has, it was shot a few years ago, maybe five, six, because recently I've been going through my files. Um, 
and I'm finding a lot of photos which I had have neglected. Um, this this event was uh, an international event of gymnastics, if I remember correctly, and I got this um, Russian trainer. Um, these were young, young, young ones, um, very young kids. And she was, um, I don't know what she is doing, anyway, massaging or, you know, trying to bend the, the, the girl's um, uh, toes. Louis, can I ask a couple of questions? Of course. So. Um, you had to uh, stay in a stable position or you had the um, uh, privilege to go around? I, I, I had limited space. Um, uh, the, the problem with this place somewhere, I think in Tarshin, if I remember, of Gura, um, the, the background was awful. Yeah? Um, white and bits of furniture running around, always getting into the, the background of photos. This one I got close, I, I just caught, caught this trainer doing these exercises and I just got close. Um, I had some movement, you know. But you took a couple of photos, not only this one. Why did you choose this one? Um, I, I've taken maybe a thousand photos. I had about a couple of hours here. Um, this one, I, I like this one because of the background and of, uh, you know, the, 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 you can see the hands. Um, it, it, it is, this is like, uh, photojournalism or street photography. It's not street, but it's photojournalism. You know, uh, I did nothing to it, just uh, cropping. Okay. Any more? Um, I would say something about um, this. Um, sorry, sorry, Tony, before. That is uh, Martin Ajus, and he is uh, good in street photography or photojournalism. I would like some comments from him as well. Go on, Tony. Tony. No, no, Martin Ajus. Martin Ajus. No, have to have to have yes, Martin. Hi, oh, all right. Uh, first of all, journalism, but it's more under the sports in my opinion. Oh, all right. I really love the moment that you got, Louis, uh, and especially the square crop and, and going very close. Um, it's, it's usually many people shoot wider. And as you were saying, I know the feeling because I shoot these things a lot. Most, most of the times the background is awful. Uh, I, I shoot the kickboxing and one of my worst nightmares is the light, and then to get a good position without getting the floodlights in your face. Very good, I mean, shot well done because you have intended it except for cropping. It's fantastic, I mean, I really like it. I mean, it's not <laughs> because it's your Lewis, but yes, very well seen and, and well caught, and you had to go around to, in your mind, to 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 get a decent photo from an awful background, you know. Well done. Would you would you um, work it in uh, monochrome or? Yes, it could go in monochrome, but I don't mind it like it is. I mean, the red for me is a bit pleasing. Maybe I would remove the the, the white stuff on, on, on your hair hand on, on the carpet, on the floor, but apart from that. I, I forgot to take my vacuum cleaner with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see your point though. I, I, I'm seeing them now. Yeah, yeah man. well seen, well shot. Thanks. Tony. Tony Azzopardi. Tony Azzopardi, you. Your okay. Uh, okay, Tony. Okay, you hearing me? Yes, yes. 
Lewis, uh, I agree with all that Martin said. Uh, in fact, he took most of my the points that I was going to make. I really like your idea. I like zooming in on detail. I like I like also the composition. And uh, even though we we traditionally we're taught we're taught that uh, you, could, you uh, something dark we put it below, not above. I mean, I, 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 I believe that the bit of hair creates balance here. Uh, I don't know the other's opinion, but that's my opinion. Uh, even though now for you close it from, 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 from below, but here I like it, Lewis, the way he used it. And the, to be the integrity, I also agree with Martin about removing those two fluffs, the, the white. If um, you can, I mean, under sports, I don't know if you can, you tell me. Let, let let me tell you. But now I'm remembering. I just I just finished. Um, I saved this as a PSD. I had two or three layers, and I just um, just finished it now, just to show. That's why I left them. Because well done, yeah. Lewis. I like it. Uh, very, they are really ugly. Yeah, those very good ideas. capture. I like it. Normally, normally I take them off, mm. but then it's a good point that you told me about it. Okay, you can mute me, Vince. You can mute me. Thank you. All right, hey. Louis, huh? if I can say something. Um, first of all, I like I like the square format. Um, uh, I I like square formats, and it works, I think, in this in this particular photo. Um, what, in my opinion, in my opinion, given that you have different tones of colors, you've got red. You've got this color, you've got this color, uh, you've got another color, which, in my opinion, they do not complement uh, with each other. So I think, I think um, that um, I would have converted it to monochrome or else, obviously, if you need, you cannot change the colors. But I think in monochrome, it might had, have um, a stronger representation, in my opinion. What I would have removed also, I would have removed these letters. And what? these these letters, I would have removed them. I don't Just a small know. detail, but, but I would have removed the, those letters. Oh. And uh, what really worry, worries me a bit in, in is this, this part over here. Otherwise, those are the things, because you've got the, the fingers it's like I know she's grabbing her hair, but it seems like sort of it's amputated. It gives that that um, uh, uh, look that it is amputated. Otherwise, I what I like is what I like is uh, the fact that that you managed to capture in a square format. So you've got. Um, the placing of the hands you've got a leading in. And you've got also this this um, shape over here. I like that. Um, uh, even you've got you you start from here. Uh, your eyes goes here, and the main focal point is over here. So those are the things that that and they in in my opinion they fit in a square format as well. Um. My comments about uh, what you said, uh, I don't know if it will work in monochrome. I haven't tried it. Mm -hmm. You I have to try it out. You have to try um, it out. I have to try it. The, 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 <clears throat> the thing about these, these um, words here, I don't agree with you. I mean, that's part of the scenery. And when I'm shooting sports or things like that, I don't like removing things. I mean, apart from the dust or white spots. The, the, the thing that I'm not sure of, and uh, you and even Martin, and, and even having caught it is this area, it is the head of the trainer. I don't know if, the, if that No, I, I would much. leave that. No, I would leave that. I would leave that because I would leave that part. It, it doesn't, I mean, I think without the head of part of the head over here and having the hands out of this picture, 
would make that, you know, the, the head over here, it balances this out. So I would leave this. Like this I part. said, like I said, Vince, it would really balance it. it I would believe balance it's, it's balanced. But, but Vince, would you leave a bit more of the head? So it could be. Because it, 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 it looks like be. a. Yes, it could be. I agree to leave a bit. That, that, that was my problem. That's why I didn't finish it before today. Yeah, uh, I mean, I know what Vince was saying about removing the letters and all that, but we have to keep in mind that in sports, journalism and street, you cannot remove things apart from those little two dots, uh, yes. the white ones, that's all right. So about that head, yes, I would have liked to see without the head and maybe more the head, <laughs> but then you would lose obviously the square format as well. <clears throat> But uh, you have to, to play around with it and, and do the other two versions. I mean, more head and in monochrome. My only issue is that in monochrome, maybe the hand and the carpet would be in similar grayish tone. But you have to try it out. I mean, I love black and white. <laughs> Mainly, I, I, I do black and white. So but you have to, to try it out. I mean, it has good potential. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Prost, prost. Someone else, thank please. Good night, Kelma. Thank my portal. Yes, yes, Alex. Yes. Alex. Sorry. Get now on the screen. It's not a matter of Uh Louis, can you share the photo again, please? Uh, Miss Sato. <laughs> share screen. Yeah. Okay. No. I can see it. Um, uh, like like everybody said, the Jiviri is these are difficult, and photojournalism is not my my genre. Jiviri. I mean, um, so this is completely a personal opinion, and uh, and uh, as as you know me, I always usually look more uh, for the for the artistic side and the, the beautiful side in a in a photograph, but somehow. Um, I feel that the square format isn't perhaps the only format that you can use for this for this image. If you crop in, yes, from from uh, view options, Alex, choose annotation. Annotate, uh huh? All right. Annotate, yes. Uh, use a draw, for example, you can pin you. Yes. You okay. can use you can use the box, Alex, as well if you want to crop. The box limo, uh, daddy. The picture is not in the un, center. Un, the under drawing, under drawing. Under drawing, all right. Yes, under draw it is. Only the Go box. Draw. This is the box. You can do. Um, as in a nasty play, and and you close in. I, I'm in a session. Um, can can I can I can I share my screen? Uh, but you have the photo. I I made a, a screen. Oh, she's more screenshot here, huh? Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Did you have to remove Lewis. Yes. 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 I'll I'll remove. Share your screen, Alex. Yes. So to share my screen. The green button. All right. All right. What are out? Yeah, was it visible? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, what I what I what I what I was looking at in my in my in my image is sort of like a closer crop where you see more of the hands and the feet and remove that that head, which personally I don't think was helping, it wasn't really distracting much either, you know, but uh, I think without it was better, but this would make it a different photograph. So if we, it is an option, not to say that it is a better photo, but, uh, but somehow I feel when you, if you have to see it closer and larger, somehow it looks, it, the, 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 there, is, there seems to be more action when you see it closer. So I don't know if, if, this, if this could help. It's an idea. My difficulty was, um, because the sports, yeah, I'm showing nothing. Yeah, I mean, 
there was this lady who was, I, I think, is the trainer, and uh, a little girl, maybe eight year, eight or nine years old, something like that, very mm -hmm. small. And I wanted to explain. I mean, by by a photo, what's happening? If you don't see the trainer. I mean, there's two legs okay. and two hands. Like but listen, that. the trainer, okay. the trainer, you, you don't know, know you don't hands. know if it's the trainer or if it's the girl herself. Okay. You cannot, you cannot really say who it is, you know, because all you're seeing is a tuft of hair. And it's not okay. really important. What's important is what is happening over here. She is stretching her, her, her leg and her toes, you know, uh, probably. Okay. I agree with you, Alex. Tom. You know? uh, I agree with you about the crop. The, the only thing that bugs me, all right, because to remove that hand, uh, because now the hand, the hand is a bit. Le, le, ma, so on the joint. But if, if he can remove the hand, yeah. You can open up more. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just. That, that's that's just a quick yeah, thing. That's much guys, better, obviously. Guys, yes. guys, guys, let me take let me take quickly, very quickly, very brief Paul, yeah, Martin, your your yes. your comments, Paul, so that we can take um, another another photo. Tahali, we give space um, uh, to yes. us as well. Uh, Paul, Paul wanted to pass a comment. Um, Paul De Guara, let me. Try to unmute you, Paul. All right, Paul. You can talk, Paul. Okay, here you are. Yes, may I suggest that you rotate it anti-clockwise if it's big enough? Paul? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Uh, maybe, may I suggest that you turn it a little bit anti-clockwise? Louis? Louis? Oh. Louis, Paul is suggesting uh, that you, you turn it a bit anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Vince? Yes. Um, David, the page is going to open. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I did admit that. I'm going to admit. The uh, layer of the clock is going to show the background. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Control J, Lewis. Control J. Control J. Control T. Uh, or rotate you. Yeah. Or not bel ma Lewis li dawk il klim ma ndom shit nihew. Ija parti mill mill istorja. Anyway, um, essa ne provom metan kun kuj ta' okay. xina bil publiko o blu dien sa matan xim ta' jem. <laughs> okay, okay. Ye, yeah, nah, Fair enough. Um, sorry. Fair enough. Yeah, I agree with all the comments and I've taken them in. The one, but I still believe that I need more of the head. I, I see yes, what yes. Um, Alex has said, getting closer. And I'm, I'm very good at that, getting, that, that is my forte, to get closer. But that's too close, I mean, to, to be. A different story, Louis. That's why it's a different interpretation. So it's completely subjective. Uh, if then, there isn't yes, one which is better than yes, the other. Yeah, but I wanted. Really, I wanted to put to, to have more space so the viewer could see that the legs b belongs to a, a young girl and the hands belong to a, a, an older lady. Um, who wasn't much older, but <clears throat> okay, Louis. You know um, what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, thank one. you, thank you, Louis. Let's, let's move to, to the next photo. Um, who will be sharing the next photo, please? Raise your hand or... Huh? Shall... No one? I do it. Some are from uh, maybe the new ones will... Uh... New ones? Okay. Estelle. Hey, Estelle, Lisa. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. 
I'll open your mic, Estelle. Okay. okay. Hi. Hello. Um, so I a photo did come to mind um, from 2014, and it is very edited. So I don't know what photos no you guys don't worry. share. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. We have David um, who joined as well, and Pauline. Maybe yes. they can give us yes. also their views about Estelle's photo. What 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 I kindly ask everyone is to be a bit concise so that we can get as much as possible different uh, photos from different people. Okay, I'm going to share screen. Yes, yes, yes. My laptop seems to have. Is it working? You can share the screen. The green button. And choose the, the screen know, where there is the photo. When it will left side. Um, you, you have a problem with the screen share? I think it froze my laptop, sorry. <laughs> no, if, if you want, you can send you can send the image via chat and we will share it for you, no worries. Uh, if you want, until. I think Estelle has a problem with the. Hey, um, communication. Frisat, frisat, um, no worries, no worries. Um, all right, Estelle. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yes. Okay. You've got. You've got a slow connection. No worries. No worries. You've got okay. Oh, wasal, okay. Wasal, wasal. Very good. Okay. Very good. So, I don't know what you're seeing yourselves as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is the final photo. And I don't know if you want to see the original Estelle uh, Estelle could you no. could you repeat what you said because uh, it got uh, Sorry. Stuck and... no worries so this was the final photo I don't know if you can see it yes, yes okay. we can yes we can it's black and white um and this was the original. Ah, okay. 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 So this yeah. was the original. I liked the hues and I started editing it and I ended up with very good. This, which is very, very different. Um, very good. Okay. Yeah. This, is a okay. Case, this is a case where you've managed to convert it to monochrome. And I think in monochrome, it has a stronger effect than it was in color. Mm -hmm. the way obviously the way you treated it but um uh, did, did you use two photos to two or so what i did was yes i duplicated it okay and i made it black and white and i kept one photo um in solid color and the other one i reduced the opacity i superimposed them and I inverted one of them. I flipped it over. Okay. So there's quite a lot of editing. Okay. Yes. What you need to be careful in these types of photos um, is that it. Tends... And so I flipped it over and I kind of mirrored them. Mm -hmm. Okay. What What you need to be careful is that um, it it tends to become a bit busy. And I cannot see a particular, Sorry? it tends to become a bit busy. It's a busy as, as a photo, okay? And w I cannot specifically point out where is the focal point in this photo. I mean, your eyes keep roaming and roaming, you know? Um, to have an effect, okay, it's, it's good, but you need to have a focal point which I think it's missing in the photo. Estelle has gone, I think. Uh, uh -huh. There was a disconnect, disconnecting, a disconnection. Disconnection, I think she was yes. with, with, um, with Chismo. No worries, we, we will get back with, with Estelle if she managed to get back in. In the meantime, can we have someone else who can share the photo? 
Huh? Raise up your hands. Okay. Mario, Mario Chantar. Mario Chantar. Okay. Okay, Mario, you can uh, share screen. Share your screen, please. And unmute him, please. Yes. David, Nasab, can I tell you provide to us my little sound? Ta, um. He's here, David. I can okay. see him. Ma. My little sound. I'm not sure if he's. No, no, not David James. David DP. DP. Yes, yes, yes. All right. How are you? Yeah, okay. Mario, I I am muted you. Mario. Okay. Okay, Mario. Should be okay. I'm not hearing him. Yes, yes, we're hearing him now. First of all, thank yes. you. This is my first time. Good. Welcome, nice Mario. joining us. Well Courage, done, Mario. Courage. Welcome, Mario. New for me. Uh, probably I'm. Uh, I don't know. You you see the photo and and, and you judge. Okay. It's Miss Raito. Don't worry. All you need to do is open uh, the photo and then uh, click on share and uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, Joe, can you start, please? Okay, very. It is um, Mario. Um, don't say that that you just started. <laughs> Or is it your first time? Because you already have a very good idea of how to compose a picture here. Thank you. Uh, it, uh, immediately, as soon as you see it, you will see that it's a, a pleasant photo with a good composition. Um, it needs some a little bit of, of uh, tuning in, but, um, but on the whole, uh, it, you have a very good start here. So technically, the time of day, obviously it was uh, uh, it is a low light photography, the time of day uh, necessitated uh, the use of special, of um, special aperture, ISO, etc., cetera, um, which you mm -hmm. all got them right here. The exposure is right. Um, you can enlarge, uh, uh, cool. Even the the ISO is uh, the, the 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 noise is quite smooth. I can't I can't see the noise there, and uh, the sharpness is a tiny bit soft. As far as I meant, did you shoot this handheld? No, it, I had a tripod. I had a tripod, but still, um, I think it is a bit soft. It could be that it, the tripod moved a bit. Was it a very long exposure? No, yes. not a very long exposure. Uh, it was around around one, two seconds. Not much, not not more than that. Because may, may, not... may, may I add something to this Joe, please? Could, uh, he, uh, could you maybe Mario left left uh, vibration reduction or image stabilizer on? Could be. While yes. on the tripod, because it it, it, it doesn't help. Eh? It I could be, yeah. I know it doesn't help and I just learned that that uh, doesn't help because it's trying to make up for nothing for something that's not there to make up for. Exactly. But it's but it's not the main it's not the main issue. The main, you know, the the composition is started. It it is already there. Just a tiny bit of of. Um, I must I must adjust. add that that it's very impressive for a beginner. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So the main the main the main thing here to start with is um, let me try to put some annotate and some draw. It's this, okay? Now this is almost, almost there in the third. I are cannot you, see your annotation. Are you seeing the annotation? No, I cannot see. I, I'm trying to... to... I'm, I'm, I'm writing in red. I don't, I but, don't know uh, what to do. I'm seeing you in a tiny window. Uh, yeah, you're not annotating, Joe. I'm rotating, I put in annotation and I can't see it either. I put I put draw. And uh, is this appearing now? No. No, Joe. No. In any case. Anyway. Uh, so we have the tower uh, here. 
Joe, Joe maybe okay. we can ask Mario to share it again. I'll stop his share and share it again oh. to refresh your screen. Oh, that's why. All right. Okay. Can you see it? Try again, please, Mario. Okay. <clears throat> كيف ادين كبيتي يينا لنو كو هاجان يسجريشي اللامبا اللي ينفو قدم نت تتباشا لنتنسي تتحا عش تشبت لك لاتنسيوني ايا البوتسا لغو الهاجا نسموهم نسموهم الدوال عش الدوال هو اللي كتار لحا يخرج دي تيك دات gets more attention obviously because it's the brighter part نسموها but I think the composition needs needs some some adjustments some amendments and then It's, uh, it's Are you still, still we're not seeing it, Mario. Kindly share. Right, no. I'm doing something wrong. It's coming. There's the moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm joking. That's it, that's it. Well, Ali, let's, let's see. When I, now, if you do view options, then annotate from, the, from here and then draw. Yeah. Okay, and draw. Now you can see? No, I can't see the annotation. No, don't worry. Okay. Ah, there it is, the annotation. Because you're drawing on his, probably uh, there's a problem. With, with his share, because you're drawing on the um, desktop. Oh, oh, desktop, okay. Well, no, no, forget it. But forget no it. problem. Okay, because it will be well. So this part, the, the part, can but can you at least see the, the, the uh, cursor? No, not even. No. My cursor, no. Well, the part, the, the, um, the, main, the main tower, let's say, would, could, go, could go a little bit to the left. Just a tiny bit, so that okay. will position it in the exactly in the third, okay. and we can eliminate. Uh, we can crop a bit part from the left hand side because there's no. That's it's not important there. There, there is uh, an important um, matter okay. there, mm -hmm. and also the tower. If we put it a, a bit to the left. Um, we we'll straighten it up a bit. It is a bit. A bit like it's 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 bending onto the right. We can okay. we can um, uh, improve it. It's uh, we can make make it make it straighter straighter on. As Paul said, um, your eyes will immediately go on the first on the first uh, lamp there, and that lamp is taking a lot of interest in in, uh, in uh, my opinion. So it that can be also touched up a bit uh, a bit. No. I particularly like the bench here, the solitude, the solitude of the bench. I would darken a bit the the uh, the foreground, mm -hmm. the, the the ground, the ground, and bring out a tiny little bit more the red of the of the bench. Um, another thing that that's uh, bothering me is that bollard there next to the to the bench. I would eliminate it. I, I did. Well, I have another version where I eliminated that one. Because, uh, the, the reflection, the, is, whatever it is. The reflection is very nice. And if we if we straighten up the tower a bit, I think we'll have a, a straight horizon as well, a horizontal horizon. Because I, I believe from what I've seen that the horizon is not horizontal. And that is a, a, a sin. Eh? That's, that we have to to keep in mind always that horizons have to be horizontal always. Okay. Otherwise, Prosit, Mario, I, Thank it, you. I, I Thank believe you. it's a good photo. Thank you. Someone Thank else you. who wish to share his or her photo? Alex? <laughs> Alexander, okay. kindly you, share, Vince. Yes, Alex, you can you can share the screen, Tom. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Yes, we can see it. 
Yes, Alex Kotaya. All right, I've unmuted you, Alex. Thank you. And maybe we'll have Emmanuel um, uh, giving us his views so that we'll have someone from abroad, from another. Um, this was taken last year. I just re edited a bit because I'm not I wasn't it. happy with the, I'm not, are you with the editing it? I did before. Okay, I'm seeing And this is um, it was taking a bit of a long exposure, but it's a mixture, uh, not, a, not so long, about three seconds to get the, the waves a bit, you know, uh, the movement of the waves. Alex, you have a rectangle on uh, the screen, maybe, maybe on the picture. Uh -huh. you, you have a menu, that's why. A menu that we cannot see, the, just remove it. You have, you have a menu, you have a, a pop-up. You have to remove that because that is not visible to us. I'm not, see I'm not seeing it. Maybe you close and uh, reshare it again. All right, I'll, I'll reshare it again, Alex. Share it again. Okay. So, Make sure that you have no no open windows. No, that's why. Then, uh, okay, share. Now, how is it? It's it's okay. Is it Still okay coming. now? No, no, it's okay yes, now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Emmanuel, uh, can can we have your views, Emmanuel? Maybe um, uh, Alex, uh, if you need to add something to what you were saying, sorry for disrupting. No, it's okay. I mean, basically, this is Tatia de Limara. Um, it was taking long exposure. I just read it. This was taken last year, um, February last year. I, I wasn't happy with the. With, I'm noticing there are still some editing to do. It's not finally finished, but uh, I, I got about two or three seconds exposure to get the movement of the of the waves. Emmanuel, um, you have to, um, you will be muted. Emmanuel. Muscat. Uh, Muscat, okay. Okay, okay, Emmanuel. Mute. Okay, I'm, I'm muted. Okay. Um, very, very pleasant uh, picture uh, to look on, to look at. Okay. And uh, I see that the photographer here has uh, looked uh, at his composition carefully. Firstly, I could see that he tried not to include the horizon in the middle of the picture as not to divide the image in, in half. And uh, by doing so this way, he put the more uh, emphasis part of the image, giving more uh, of the two thirds of the image of uh, the emphasis of the image. I see that he have a very interesting sky and um, he kind of vignetted, added a vignette to the image to even bring in the attention of the viewer to, towards his main subject. Um, the um, shutter speed for this long exposure is, is, is very good because here you could still see and capture the movement without losing so much of uh, what the movement is uh, incorporated from. It's, it's coming from the sea, from the ocean. You could tell because if, if you had um, le let more, more time for the exposure, obviously you would have compensated by either putting a and the filter or uh, even the aperture, closing more on the aperture, so that would compensate and getting more exposure and um, the exposure and the movement. And you would be left with more uh, kind of cotton-like sea. One thing which draws my attention in this image is uh, the bottom part of the image, where I can see the um, uh, the foreground is having uh, to see the detail, 
but at the same time, the exposure is a bit more brighter in the, from the entire image. So when you directly look at this image, having the foreground being bright, to me personally, it brings my attention to where the rock formation in the format in the, in the foreground is. Perhaps to improve this is you can darken more the um, the foreground where the rock formation is. Uh, if, I don't know if I'm coming clear enough in, in my explanation. Yes, in, in, the, in the center down. Um, am in I the correct? center down. It's center it, down, it's, right? It is bright. It is bright, and it, it brings your. Uh, it takes away your attention. So there, when you're viewing the image, you are having to wander around like, where should I look at? Obviously the center is more more of the attention, but you start to exploring the center, the beautiful sky, and then your eyes drop down again to the lower part of the image, which uh, does play a part of, of in, the, in the image. If I would say crop entirely all the rock formation, I wouldn't think so. You you would need you would need to leave some base, and then you would need some some base. Maybe uh, in another attempt, the photographer would try to go lower to the ground to capture this image again. That way, you would uh, uh, have less of the foreground. And give more of the top part, bringing bringing more uh, kind of a distant look and feel to the uh, rock in, in the center of the ocean or the sea. That's a cliff, Manuel. That's a, a cliff. A cliff. You can't yes. go down. You, you can't go down. You can't go it's down. A cliff. Uh, but was you standing up no. or or you went really really down low on the ground? Are you on the ground there? Um, it was about two feet um, above the, the ground. Above the ground. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes, yes, yeah, you have done. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have another opportunity, maybe you try and lie flat on the ground, would give a different perspective. But on the whole, it's a very nice image. It's a, it's a very pleasing image. The colors are nice and all that. It's only that, that part in the lower part, which, uh, sadly enough, gets my attention. Thank you, Emmanuel, for your um, uh, detailed uh, critique. Um, Alexander, do, do you mm. wish to say something else on uh, what Emmanuel uh, was saying? I, I, I don't know I, if I it was me. I, I would have done better because you don't know the circumstances being there. But this is my view of uh, when seeing this image. No, I agree about the, the center thing and the lower perspective. Unfortunately, there is only one place you can take it uh, um, at a lower perspective, but it's close to the public. Now there's a, a door which you can't have no access near the salt things down, down, but it's it's closed. It's, it's private and mm -hmm. here nobody goes down there. I wish I can go and take a photo, but I cannot. But thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, uh, I was um, chatting with Estelle. She's back with us. I'm going to share her uh, photo um, uh, and I would like uh, David to give us um, uh, his um, uh, view and critique, please. David DP. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mute myself. Are you seeing the image? Yes. Okay, David. Unmute, David. Okay. 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 Um, this is this is not an image I think which um, you'd normally see um, presented uh, within within the the society, and I think um, one of the things that we need to take uh, from this image is that we need to open up uh, a bit more and move away from the traditional rules based photography. Um, that uh, most of us uh, practice. Uh, what is interesting is that um, the, the photographer in this case saw something which is very 
routine and which could be considered as mundane and turned it into something artistic. Ejifiri, she saw something which we, Hanaidwek, did not see in the image. She played about uh, with it. She edited the same image and eventually came up with something uh, which is um, unusual um, and different. It, it, it would be interesting, for example, to see this, this, this image uh, printed. Whilst um, I understand what Vince was saying, you know, uh, regarding the rules, etc., etc. On the other hand, uh, this image raises a number of questions and uh, invokes the viewer to try and understand and think what the photographer had in mind. Uh, you know, it, it could be anything from, for example, um, you know, isolation. Um, it, it could mean anything. So what I would like to see is that um, sometimes we need to move away from evaluating images based on regulations, but look, we need to look at the images presented more from an arty point of view uh, to see and understand what emotions, what, what actually, uh, what the photographer was actually thinking or imagining or how they perceived this normal image and how eventually they, they transformed it into something uh, different. Uh, David, David, I agree with you perfectly, perfectly. I cannot agree more. Um, in regards to this context, but um, uh, if you are looking at the image from an artistic point of view, but obviously we have also to look at other ways, not just the artistry, because if, for example, we're saying that this is submitted into a competition, it's going to be looked into something different. It's going to be treated something different. I mean, if it's going to be judged, I am sure that what we're saying and what we're agreeing upon in a way that it has to be seen in that artistry form, uh, it's, going, it's not going to get that, you know? No. Um, yes, uh, Vince, I, you know I fully I mean? agree. You know? Yes, I fully agree. If, if, if one had to look at the uh, National Photographic Exhibition, Mm -hmm. And having been a judge um, in the past for a number of times, I think this would not be an image that would uh, traditionally right. do well in our competition. That's right. You know? That's right. Um, and, and, and yes, from that point of view, you are totally correct. On the other hand, um, from an artistic uh, point of view, um, uh, I, I would judge it differently yes, in the sense yes, yes. that and I would like to actually um, invite the, the, the photographer to actually, you know, tell us uh, something. What went through her mind when she was editing this particular photograph? What, was she looking at the frailness of, 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 you know, presenting frailty? I mean, for me, the, the, the background um, uh, to, to the, the, the background, which was something like a wall, in this image has now turned into what I perceive to be like a tree trunk. So I'm seeing a comparison between something strong, which is dominating in the center, which looks like now after post-production um, as a trunk compared with the frailty of those, of, of those flowers. Um, and um, the, 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 the uh, editing has, has also helped um, to, 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 to create something which is, which is a bit more artistic, which I would also, as I said before, like to see printed. But on the other hand, yes, it is not, it is not, one, it is not an image that would normally um, do well if, if one had to submit it, for example, either during the, the club competition or else during uh, the, the uh, National Photographic Exhibition. That's right. Thank uh, you, we, David. Thank you, David. Uh, spot on, we agree perfectly. And this is something that um, obviously one needs to understand, uh, needs to understand what David was saying, and we perfectly agree on this, that you need to know the rules. 
and when to break the rules. I mean, when I want to make an artistic photo and I literally ignore all rules or break the rules, okay? And when I want to submit photos that I need them to go well in a competition and be selected for an exhibition on behalf of the society, for example. In that case, yes, we need, you need to take care of the rules, okay? That, that is what I, I, I think I think, Vince, um, this would be an image that would be considered if, for example, somebody was 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 preparing for an individual exhibition. Yes, that's right. Interpreting interpreting a particular theme. Yes, yes. You know, yes. And, and and when you see and then a body of work uh, based along the same concept and the mm -hmm. same ideas, and then especially when you see it printed in black and white. Sure. You know, uh, the effect will be totally different and, and, and the perception and, and the image will look completely different. But, but I would like to hear maybe, I don't know if she... Uh, yes, what yes, 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 uh, Estelle, maybe she can uh, add something uh, to what we're saying. Estelle, you can, I've opened your mic. Um, uh, you can, you can... Uh, yes. No. You can talk, Estelle. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Yes, okay, thanks. Thanks a lot for your feedback. I appreciate it. And I understand you explaining the photos that would fit into certain rules and regulations in photography. And in contrast with that, the um, art aspect of it. Um, this photo, my intention with this photo initially was just to... to and just... It was just my first time trying it out, and I actually was very happy with the results. Um, Leonard asked if I could have darkened the sides. I remember playing around with that as well, because I, I usually try to avoid having such white. When I did make it darker, I felt like I lost a lot of detail in the middle that I didn't want to lose, which is why I stuck to this. Um, but in that, you can you can you can play with with the darkness of the photo to whatever it is you is this an exhibition or something. The way I see it is my perception of this photo is the contrast between um, chaos or like turmoil and then the brightness of the photo, which would reflect peace. Yes. So. That would be my interpretation then of this photograph in an artistic. Yes, and, and and no, and normally, um, if, if if something like this had to be presented uh, in a body of work, uh, you would have the art the, the artist statement, which would actually help um, guide the, the the audience to actually interpret uh, the body of work that you would have presented. Um, in line with what you were actually seeing when you shot that photograph and mm -hmm. what you were actually seeing when you actually uh, did the post-production on the photo. Mm -hmm. Well done, well done, Esther, well done. And keep it up. Well done, well done. Personally, well, from my end, I, I like it. it. Yes, I like it as an artistic <laughs> work of art. Well done. Definitely. Thank you all, I appreciate Next. it, thank you. Thanks, David. Thank you, You're David, welcome. excellent. Paolo. Anna Paolo, oh, Anna Raumin, yes, I at in that chain. Okay, I'm muted, Paul. At the hour, it's right? Not yet. Louis Harvard, no, Louis. He needs to go to the Okay, sir. Yeah, I I Yes, yes, sure. Yes, extremely important in my, for me. Should we, should a photographer work after all for a work to be judged, for, for a judge? 
most of us do that because most of us work in a, in a society and present our works for the judges sort of to judge. But I don't think, and I agree 100% with David here, I don't think that that is the only type of photography that we have to be careful that the judges will give it, give it marks, for example. It, all, it is all summed up with the, with the phrase that Estelle put in when she said, when I saw this photograph, then I liked what I saw when, I, when, I, when she, when she um, uh, edited the photo, she liked what she saw. That's for me, that is the magic of photography. You working, we working for you. You are enjoying what you're seeing. In that way, you are, you are uh, submitting your artistic prowess here. You are suggesting an artistic image. Issa, when you do that, when you do that, it doesn't matter. For me, definitely, it does not matter if it's liked by the majority of the people or the minority of the people, it doesn't matter, even if it's liked by, by, by some, only a few, the fact that you like it and the fact that you find a satisfaction in it is already something. Obviously, if you had to enter a competition, you would, you would need to stay within the rules. That's why there are the rules, the rules of the particular competition, but that is not the only photography Photography we have to we we, we 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 should chase. We should chase also these photographs, which I'm sure all of us have. Photographs which perhaps we are afraid to bring out, not because we don't like them, because most of them we do like them, but we are afraid that somebody else might not like them. For me, that is a, a minus, not a plus. Joe, I totally agree with you, and I am. Uh feel that the society should apprehend and move forward to um, equate these uh, type of artists who are ready to express their artistic uh, photographic works in a different manner. Yes, yes, I think so. In fact, Paolo, in fact for me, for I'm me, as, for, in fact, for me, Estelle is uh, very, uh, very, uh, very uh, courageous and, and, and she showed uh, truly artistic value in what she did, whatever the image it is. For us, that's Estelle. I agree. Paul, so can we tell, uh, for example, uh, maybe there's someone else who has a photo ready to share? Leonard? Marco Veloca is hearing me. Marco? Mario. Mario Mefsut put up his hand. Yes, and then we will follow Marco. Marco? Yes, Marco is here. No? Yeah, but, but I don't know if he's listening to me. Marco. No problem. Leonard, okay? Okay. No, you're seeing it. I no, 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 not yet. Okay. 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 Peter uh, Bartolo Parnis, can you give us? Um, <laughs> not, not at the moment, Steve. I ask him. All right. Pauline, maybe. Pauline. <clears throat> okay, Pauline. That's my ass. I'm trying to mute I'm mute here. I'm not.
David, what's your view about this image? Um, this is a completely uh, different uh, image uh, from the image image that we've, we've seen uh, previously. Um, from a composition uh, point of view, um, I like the tones, you know, um, which the photographer obviously obviously, obviously um, saw. He identified a point of interest um, and more or less uh, positioned it in the uh, division, division of thirds. I also think that this is, uh, from what I'm seeing, because I'm, 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 I'm seeing the, the image on, a, on my mobile phone, um, it's, I think, a long um, exposure, um, mm -hmm. or, or my eyesight is, is, is not seeing, seeing um, that well. I like this image. Um, it, I, I like this image. I like the contrast between um, the, the, the white, which is in the right places, and which sort of directs you uh, towards um, that object, which I can't identify what it is. But but um, so um, I, I like this image. Um, it, it it's one of those uh, images which are which I would cost a bit more traditional in the sense that what we're accustomed to seeing. Anybody else who would like Hello. to give his comments? Tony? Tony? And Martin? There's Martin. To add, to add, to add, to add, to add to what David has said, uh, I like it because it is a minimal composition. I have grown to, be, I have learned and grown to believe that minimal is stronger so a lot of times, most of the times. Congrats, Leonard, it's a good image. Thank you. I like it. You can mute me again. Or mute Martin myself. wants to say something as well. Uh, Martin, muting. Okay, Martin. All right, Mala. Uh, first of all, well done, Leonard. Uh, it's an image that I love to shoot myself. Thanks. Uh, I cannot add much with what David said and Tony. Uh, maybe you can try it in monochrome as well. It, it might work good as well. But obviously, you have to see. I mean, I mean, imagining it in black and white, but. I was trying to do it in black and white, but so far I haven't managed to capture or get nice blacks in, in the background. Yes, the, yes. The, the sea is not that co contrasty, so, and, and the object the, is very small and there is not much. Perhaps I can need to go some other time when there is more light on the lighthouse or, 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 or whatever you call it, so that there will be more contrast. You, you can try brightening more the sea, because yes, it, it is a mm. bit dark grayish. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we just say these things, but we're not seeing, but when you're trying to convert into monochrome, it's a different uh, story. You have to try it yourself to, to know. Yes, but, yes, yes, yes. But yes, I mean, still very good. I mean, I like it. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Leonard. Thanks. Someone else, please, who would like to share? John. John, John, Celia. All right, John. I've unmuted you, John. Thank you. All right. Atle. No. Mela, edit name. All right, I'm Nick. Shla. Oh, sure. Okay. Hmm. Alexander, Kotayar. Uh, 
Ok. Ok, Alex. Yes, yes. It's a lovely composition. I like the fact that uh, the mushroom uh, rock is positioned on the lower thirds and uh, you captured also the, the stars. Um, the, 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 uh, it looks like the light is good as well. The only thing which I might maybe criticize a bit is there was a slight movement of the stars. I think you had more than the 500 rule. I, I, they're not spot on, but otherwise, even my balance is correct. It's, it's nice, mm -hmm. nice composition. When it comes to star, the night photography, the stars will uh, bring out your defect. You have to be careful in some rules not to get the motion of this of the stars. They have, in, especially in the center, it has to be in uh, dot pin. If they move, um, I don't know how to say it properly in English, but it has to be a spot, not like a small trail. It was about fifteen seconds. This one. It depends on, on your lens, ah. because if, if the lens can take 15 seconds, um, yes, you, you can. But you have, sometimes I go be, below the 15 seconds. I mean, 10 seconds to be to be sure, 100%, you know? Hmm. Could be, it was a little bit too much. But overall, it's a nice composition. I like it. Even the fact that it was the, the redness on the right, that means that the, the sun wasn't uh, fully down. And the, you captured both boats. It's like the blue hour, or slightly after that, probably. I think so. Yeah. Yes. Vince, say something. Oh, sorry, I wasn't hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I I I agree with Alex. Um, uh, placing the mushroom rock on 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 the on the lower thirds is uh, effective. And uh, even the fact that you have um, uh, an interesting sky with the stars and also that that uh, foreground, I think I see, um, I see it as a good balance um, uh, as regards the photo. Uh, what I would have, uh, uh, toned a little bit down is that um, uh, vignetting that we're seeing on 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 the top part. I'm I'm not sure if you did that if you increased that in in post processing. I would have toned it slightly um, slightly down because I think in real in a real shot it wouldn't be that uh, emphasized. It it would uh, be rather toned down. So. I, I would give this part over here, this tran I, this transitioning. I would give would it. Maybe I darken it a little bit. I, I would give it a softer transitioning in in, in mm. my in my opinion. Um, uh, I like this 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 part too that you had this. Uh, it creates that that color. I mean, it complements as well as a contrasting color with the sky and even with with the foreground. Um, uh, another good thing that I like as well, even that you managed to um, illuminate this sure. this part over here, which I mean, probably you had to take two shots, John, right? No, one shot. That. That's one shot. It's uh -huh. very good because there were there was somebody who was uh, playing okay. with the paint, paint, paint light. painting painting with light. Um, the and you got you you got the 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 lighting over here. Um, uh, I like that as well. Um, that's all I can say. Paul de Guara. If I may, if I may add uh, one extra small comment, if I, if I may, because the the point of interest in this photo, I see that is the mushroom, right? Mm -hmm. The mushroom mm -hmm. is the is the is the composition basically. But my eyes is still going on the right side, lower because it's it's brighter than the brighter. Yes, yeah. uh, I would darken a bit the the, the foreground the, on the right the corner right down. 
So we will balance a bit with, with the composition or else try it up a bit the mushroom to, 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 work, to, to balance it out. But uh, overall, it's very um, balanced. Mm -hmm. Agree. Uh, can I, I ask? I like to say a little bit uh, bright because uh, I saw the, the rocks, they are interested, interesting because of the shadows and uh, that's why I, I left it a little bit bright, but I think it's a little bit too much. Um, uh, can, can, I, can I create a discussion point here and maybe hear even the views of others if they, if they would um, see this too as, as well. Um, given the fact that you have too much sky over here and relatively speaking, the, the sky is just, it's not a Milky Way, it's just stars, okay? Um, would, you, would you experiment in this type of photo, composing it in a way to include a, a little bit of more foreground um, given you've got the textures here and presented in this format, for example, if you can see, if you... Let me, let, sorry about that. Let me do, it this, do this again. What I'm saying is you present it in this format. However, you, 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 you include a little bit more foreground and less sky, what I mean. So that, so that you won't have that, you know, because um, uh, the fact that you've got this texture, you've got more, something more interesting in the foreground than you have all the sky, which is pretty much the same. I'm, 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 I'm just creating a discussion point. What you think, if, if you think this works better than this would work better than the other. I mean, it's, it's still a challenge to present um, Vince, uh, if I may, in a portrait. If, if yes, I may yes. add to, to what you're saying, because in this uh, portrait, instead of a landscape, then mm -hmm. you end up having a, a patch of magenta on the right hand side, which doesn't make sense. Which, which side, Alex? On the right hand side, just above the um, on the horizon of the sea, there's a patch of magenta, but which doesn't make sense. As it is, the, it, there is light and it shows that there's a sun going down. Like that, there's a patch of magenta, which we threw in the photo, in my opinion. No, no, what I'm saying is you have to add more more from um you add you compose it differently in camera what i'm saying not cropping you know what i mean right. you compose it differently in camera you include more foreground obviously you need uh, to see. have this a little bit smaller using a different focal length but at the end you would end up with having three quarters of the image showing the textures and the rocks in the foreground and the other quarter just showing the sky, which in my opinion, the sky is quite um, more of the same. So you, did, you do not need that all that space, you know? That's what, I, what I'm trying to, to um, arrive at. What, what you have to see, you have to see which one would make, would be stronger than the other, if the image is stronger than the other. Just as an, an opinion, probably in, in what I'm suggesting is you wouldn't even see uh, the horizon. You would the, just the, have... The thing is, when you have such a big uh, uh, sky like that, mm -hmm. there are two, op two reasons why they do it. Usually, in this case, you might be right because it's just stars. But That's either right. there's a Milky Way or there is it, it, um, it, star yes. trails. Yes, so yes. In that case... In that case, it's a completely different story. I would leave that as it is. I'm saying the fact that John did not capture star trails, but captured only stars. Stars. That's why I'm suggesting a different format. This is just a discussion point of yeah, yes, yes, different yes, yes. views. It could be. It could be. He has to like Alex. 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 Alex needs. Alex. Alex. There's Alex and also Paul. Alex Paul is trying. 
Okay, Alex, I'm muted, and oh. I'll, Paul, I'm going to unmute you as well. Huh? And... John, I wanted to congratulate you on this picture, but I'm curious. Thank you. Because that mushroom, I mean, this. what kind of light is this? Is, is this a car light you are using here or? No, torch. No, no, torch. torch light. A torch, a torch light. But um, you managed to get the mushroom looking as if it's made out of gold. <laughs> Was that a, a play with the wild balance? Because it's yeah, completely Yes. Yeah. Because it's completely different to the rest of the rock. It, it makes it stand out. It's, 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 sure. uh, it's a very interesting picture because you, you, you're making us see something ordinary in a different way. So it's one of the reasons I like. But I agree with Vince in the sky that perhaps uh, the vignetting at the top should be more gradual because there show, it shows a dark line in a straight line there, which is, which is not ideal, you know, I, otherwise. But otherwise, I, mm -hmm. I, I tend to like this picture. And perhaps where you have the, where you have the yellow balance under the mushrooms, the, the, the trunk of the mushrooms, perhaps you can diffuse it a bit more so it doesn't be so obvious. Okay. Or okay. spread it more on the rocks to make it a bit more gradual. Thanks. Yes, uh, Bishop, uh, just to add something to it. I do not think the uh, color balance of the torch you have used is uh, suitable for this type of uh, lighting. It should have been a little bit uh, yellowish so that the rocks and the light, they match up a little bit because I know this place very well. Uh, regarding the Milky Way, it's out of the question because it will be well to your left or else you'll have to, uh, to go there at a particular time to see the, uh, the Milky Way. And believe me, it's, not, it's a long walk and not very easy to, re to reach, especially in the dark. <laughs> it's, not you know, quite, no. it's not quite we difficult, Paul. Uh, look, eh? Paul, we, we've experienced that last, last summer. We did a whole night near that, that uh, um, mushroom rock. But it's, not, it's, a, it's a long walk, yes, but it's not difficult to reach. Uh. No, it's dangerous. It's not, uh, not quite there are crevices. There are crevices if you are oh, not aware of them. Paul, believe me, next to Maestral Park, it is a walk in the park. <laughs> Maestral <laughs> Park is really dangerous. Um, but but the other one, this one, we were together, Alex and John, we were yeah. together. You can say for yourselves, it's quite, it's just a walk. We lost the way, yes. Of course, so, yes, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our way, but... but um, uh, we, it, it's not that difficult to reach. I mean, you, you just walk on, on, uh, on those rocks. So you really... uh, but you have to be aware that there are crevices over there. Yes, if, yes, if we're not aware of them. Obviously, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm. Anyone else? Yes. Do we have someone else who would like to share an image? Uh, share, unshare. Okay. You removed me? Okay. Yes, yes, okay. John. Someone, okay, someone else? Emmanuel, Emmanuel, yes, you can share. Emmanuel Muscat. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Muscat, okay. Mute. Okay, screen share. I'll try this screen two. You can see screen two. Okay. Okay, let's see. Reflections. Reflection. Yes. Sharing. Mm. Paul Deguara. Okay. Yes. I'm muted, Paul. Okay, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. My immediate problem was where to look mm -hmm. because it is a busy uh, picture. The person um, adds interest. To be honest, I think I would remove the uh, right hand side because uh, if you remove them, probably you will have a, bit, a better picture. That, that's correct, that's correct. Mm -hmm. I, I like that kind of writer, that's nice. I titled this image as curious. It is curious. It is curious. So, uh, like you said, I agree. You you are looking everywhere, and the title being curious, I I thought it would match the image. The graphic, I think it it? even the left hand side might be it might uh, it can go. Mm. 
Alex, at that. Anyone else? Alex. Alex. Um, it's a very difficult image to, to criticize. Personally, the, the, the man in the position that he is in, I don't find it ideal. I think if he was in the gap, perhaps it would have been slightly better because it seems like he's just hit the wall there somehow. And <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like exactly yeah. in, that, the, in, mm. the, in that part as if he's, he's crashed into the wall. And, and uh, so, I mean, this is, this is very subjective, you know? I mean, it's, what's interesting is the actual, you know, is it graffiti? This is some kind of graffiti or? Uh, yes, um, um, street art. It's graffiti, so, so, so it's a record of the graffiti, but I don't think the, the position of the guy where he is actually helps the picture because it, there's a lot happening. And I think that the fact of the guy where he is confuses it a bit more and distracts from, 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 uh, from, the, from the graffiti. But again, this is all very subjective, you know? Mm -hmm. What was your idea um, when taking this picture? And why did you present it? Um, strange enough, I really like this image. <laughs> really, really like this image. And I presented it various, uh, various type, times and uh, I always get the same feedback. And okay. for some reason, um, I, I, I do not wish to change the format of this okay. image. Um, may, maybe it's me, the way I view this image. Um, this was taken on a, uh, on a club outing. Uh, we went out <coughs> to do some street photography. Mm -hmm. This particular, let's say, mural doesn't exist anymore because these uh, every now and again you get other artists who go and uh, do and paint their art over them. Um, what, what interested me in this is, uh, like you said, the man is like bang on in a wall. But when when you get to look at an image and say, like the man is looking through a crack between the door. When you have the door wide open, why is he looking there? This this was my my idea, and then when you look around, you see all these lines. Always like okay, you try to explore everywhere, and then you start to look at the man again. Why? What is he doing? This is this is why I titled it uh, curious. Okay. okay. When having um, uh, the idea behind the image. Um, as you were explaining, uh, you, you start trying to get uh, in your position when you are taking uh, that image. And let's make it uh, much, much more um, enticing to understand um, uh, the photographer. Well, we uh, give uh, titles. We give titles yeah, yeah. to our images uh, okay. when running this in a competition. The fact that it is called curious, it's already as an image causes your curiosity. Okay. As you know, when you're shooting street phot photography, you only have that split of a second to capture this image because this person there moved on and uh, carried on and it's a... Uh, and you gave you it know. the piatone. No, I think it's piatone because I'm viewing it on the... Uh, other monitor, which is oh. not as bright. I would okay. can try and stop sharing, and I try and okay, do okay, okay, image. okay. Um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, screen share, share screen. Okay, screen one, share. Okay, I'm gonna try and drag it here. Sorry, I don't think um, you're viewing my desktop at the moment, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Move it here. And, uh, is okay. that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is my main monitor. This is the monitor okay. I, I work on. Okay. It looks it looks different. Yes, this is how it will be presented with the passport all around it. Okay. It, it reminds me of zebras and uh, uh, 
it's weird also when you look for a long time on on the wall um it, it's it's very weird but hypnotic oh. <laughs> yeah hypnotic well hypnotic. well well done no one well well thank done you. Thank, thank you thank you do um, I, i do agree with you because as i said uh This is kind this kind of feedback that I always get when I present this image you mean crop here and crop here but um, again it's not something that um, I am willing to present it as because if I uh, I, I didn't guess I didn't get that uh, uh, I, since we didn't have the title with the picture uh -huh. I think the idea of the man looking through the <coughs> Yeah, so if from you, the top it looks closed up. So mm, if you, you go like this, I, I find that um, slightly, slightly, you know, there's a gap. But at the top, it's from, it doesn't look like there is a gap. So, but you see, I, I cropped it like uh, suggestions, like, and to me, it doesn't doesn't do it. Do do it. You're still viewing my my. Like, like, mind you, like why, like that. I liked it as a whole. To see the whole Dana, but as as you have just cropped it now, it speaks more of a man looking through a gap mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there is more of the man uh, doing something now. Before he was more lost, you know. But again, it's a question of uh, it's, it's subjective. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. But and then um, you lose most of the psychedelic exactly. effect, uh, yeah, Alex. Exactly. <laughs> When 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 you when you look at it how it was exactly, uh, yes. originally shot, it's mm -hmm. more psychedelic and and therefore you know you get lost and start wondering within the um, in, in in the image. Um, in fact, I was particularly focusing on the area um, to the in the center where you have like another person. There's the head, a person mm -hmm. on, on a uh, with a hat. You know, and something seems to be happening, yeah. and there's like the image of of another, um, of another, um, an image of an animal. If you look at this, the mouth and the two eyes, you know, and and I think I, I suspect that this street art was was uh, inspired by um, the psychedelic effect. The Obviously, the, 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 the comment was about the man. The, the person, I mean, the man adds adds um, a bit of a bit of int uh, more interest to to the image. Obviously, I mean, w when you have um, street art like this, what would be interesting is camping out for an hour or two, um, <laughs> say, staying at a point where you are not really observed, and see what happens and who passes by. And how they interact both with the street art and also there's there's the cat which is also very interesting yes. so um you could really you know um snipe for um other uh street uh, photography images which would be uh, quite interesting um uh, vince i don't yes. know if we have more time but Since there are some who are leaving, uh, sh shall if you, we? Yes, um, if, uh, if, if you want, we can take um, two yeah, more. Yeah, but shall we um, uh, inform uh, our um, guests mm -hmm. that next week yes. we have... Um, we will uh, be having Theodor. Theodor, um, yes, Theodor Kefalopoulos. Mm -hmm. He's a Greek um, uh, photographer. Um, uh, which will give us a uh, very interesting uh, yeah. webinar about his um, uh, fine art, um, landscape, and seascape photography. Just some information, Vince, about yes, yes, yes. We will we will obviously share some some. We will be having um, a meeting with him next Tuesday, and uh, we will be sharing the promo and uh, possibly even sharing some uh, in the promo, some photos that, that we have of, of, uh, of Theodore. Um, in the meantime, as well, we, were, we, are, we are working on uh, the program. Um, we're, we're, we're speaking to various artists um, uh, so that we can, obviously, later on, we can, we can uh, advertise um, uh, the calendar for, for January. Um, for February and, and then for February for sorry for February and then for March as well 
but mm -hmm. we are we are um, in talks with with some artists as well, and we're waiting for some um, uh, feedback from them. Anyone else who would like to share an image? If we have time, Vince, just yes, please. yes, 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 yes. No worries. Can I share another one? Or uh, like to share another one if that's okay or. انتني شويه راب and then we have Marco as well he's here now all right انتني you can talk to I'm trying to... all right all right all right okay um I mean interesting shot I mean, framing it's all interesting. Maybe I'm not very happy with this uh, type of process that's been given um, uh, because it's failing at the tops. Okay, the subject is in, is in really good good shape and uh, I mean, the main subject in the middle. But as a frame, it's okay. But I'm not how happy with the, the process with the treatment given. Also, plus maybe I don't know to, to, to be this dish, the, the fish should be included or to be more symmetrical, sort of. Maybe a better black and white uh, because when you when you saw your, I, has, I saw a color one when Manuel when you were looking through the your photos there was a color one maybe there was a difference with it. Uh, this is this is the finished image. Uh, this, oh, the other one. Yes, uh, I will show you this. There's a lot of Photoshop in this. I, I will I'll show you some of my secrets. <laughs> no, that's what I have. Oh. No, no. A lot of the, a lot, lot of the, there is a lot of them that's destructive. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. there's but there's lot, yeah, lot as, a, as, a, mm -hmm. as a short and composition, but then, because there is too mm -hmm. much, too much getting in your way now. Yes. But that, still, the, I believe it's, Maybe a, black, a better black and white will be stronger, not that treatment. The other one. Marco Velocca. Mm -hmm. This or the other one? The other one. Marco, uh, it's, uh, I think you've got, because you're unmuted from our end. Can you hear us? You have to connect your mic. Mm, check now, it's better. All right, okay. Okay. Now, as Tony said, the framing is nice, even how the timing that was captured. Cropping. It's just it left uh, the left side cropped of the leg. I would get rid of that window because your eyes will be distracted by the white light coming from it, although it's helping the the dancer to give it some room light and light in it. Uh, I try. I'll try to remove most of the whites because the whites uh, are this are getting the, you, you they're distracting. The main focus is the subject in the middle. Mm -hmm. I think you I reduce a bit of the white around. I know there may be, uh, what's his name? Oh, oh, on it, the good thing of it is more is also is that you, the angle is very, I mean, original sort of, it's one. one good no, point. it's nice, it's nice. It's That's a good point. Of it. But the cropping and that the extra whiteness that there is in the image, it's, it doesn't uh, throw your eyes directly to the, to the dancer in the middle. That's the main focus of the image. 
the timing, what he's doing. I think even seeing from here, he's almost sharp. So, so it's a it's a good timing, even the focus. But still, there are a lot of fights distracting from the main character. Maybe on a uh, instead of a high high key, a low key. Mm. Or else I would do have do everything high key, even the. But I'm not a an expert in that thing. Uh, even the the dancer in the middle. The because you must take care also of the of while you are you are processing, for example, the calf. There's that that blackish things out going higher. Um, if a slight of you try to um, burn them up, and they mm -hmm. came a little strange sort of. You must take because they are too white they, from starting to top to the bottom. But but in the middle there there's two right patches, the dark patches. That your eyes go straight straight to that that part of the legs, and the straight line cutting through it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I will try another version. I take on board your your remarks, and uh, I will try a different version of this. Maybe on a uh, a low key. The vignette, at least the vignette goes on a, a low key, not a high key. Mm -hmm. And you can soften a bit, a little more the legs, uh, since they're a lady's legs. You can soften them a little bit more, yes. so they will look a bit more graceful. And take care of this. Look like this. The exam, yeah. Mm -hmm. This there's the line here. Look. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this, especially this part here, this too much bearing in compared to the other to the other parts. Uh -huh. Sorry. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Someone yeah. else who would like to share, so that will make it up till eight. If Vince yes, yes, no doesn't worries, object. Please. Okay. So, so I put one. one. Okay, one. okay. One. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Is it? Yep. That's I was going around. And I shot the shot. I, I like the way it is. Uh, not usually I do that sort of shot, but I like the way, not including the, all the boat, but at least there is the boat on the process of being repainted. And I balance it with the church at the back. So. So, David. Hi, Steve. Um, I like I like this this image. Um, it's it, it's 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 an object. It's a subject that that has been tackled over and over again. I think what makes it uh, most interesting is the fact that whilst we're norm whilst we normally we are normally accustomed to, to looking at the, the color um, of all these boats. In this particular image, we're seeing uh, one of the traditional Maltese boats after um, it, 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 it's being brought back to bear, to bear wood. And um, there are two elements in this composition, which I would identify with, with Malta, which is the Maltese boat um, and and the the um, church in the background. Where was this image shot? Was it actually? See, or the background is Abuja. No, oh, no, no, no. Where where is it, Tiffany? Um, the, the background is uh, Calcara. The background. All right, all right. From, Birgu, okay. from, from, Birgu, from the Kalkara going in through Birgu. Kalkara okay. Creek on, on, on the up. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The church is Kalkara, Kalkara Church. And and probably seeing from the sky um, closer to summer, I would imagine. Okay. It was, it was some time ago, yes, 
and closer to summer. Not, no, not summer. No, not summer. It was a, it was no? a good it was sunny day. Any clouds. It was a good sunny day, yes, it was, but it was good or summer. Process. Stop sharing. All right. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Flora, you were going to say something, Flora. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. You want? I open her mic, Steve. Le, le, All, right. Le, 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 le. All right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, thank you, thank you, everyone, for sharing with us your photos. Thank you for all those who participated and given us given their their critique. Um, uh, as Stephen said, we hope to see you next week. We will be having Theodore with us, an international artist. So make sure to join us, same time, same day, Thursday um, at six. We open a bit before for those who want to join us. We will be here from 15 um, to six so that we will do uh, a socializing meeting before we start the webinar. Till then, I wish everyone a great week. Thank you, keep safe, and see you next week.